on the lending side, bankers are, are, are doing the same thing and you really got to know your product and, and, and know, um, learn from mistakes and go back to your, uh, first source of repayment, your, your secondary source of repayment. And of course, you know, bankers, if you're, if you're, you're financing a location, the tenant may be, um, let's say you're board approved, everything's gone through and you want to finance a location and the tenant hundred percent occupied is leased to um, a legal licensed cannabis operator. Typically they're paying higher than market rents. And so what I've seen out there are, um, you know, if they're paying 60 foot, but in that general area, another tenant's only paying 30, 45 a foot and you have an appraisal done, the income approach is going to be much higher with that lease in place because they're paying well above market rate. And so, you know, you can be excited. Okay. What traditionally is a million dollar property, you know, for argument's sake that for everybody else is going to be paying 30 a foot to, let's say Chipotle would be in that area or is only paying 30 a foot, but yes, you got a cannabis operator that's paying $45, $50 a foot to be in that area. Okay, well, the appraisal and the income approach is going to be significantly higher. So, you know, your policies are probably going to end up being anywhere from 70% up to 85% owner-occupied. If it's not owner-occupied, it be 70%. But if you're doing 70% on that higher income value, so it's, a lot of things can change. Just because you know, everything is profitable now doesn't mean it's gonna be profitable there. Not every location, you still got an emerging industry. Not every location is absolutely going to be a winner. Um, not every, uh, organization is going to come in and and we're starting to see, you see businesses that have flood the cannabis industry with hundreds of millions of dollars and them not get a return and, and are doing, and aren't doing well, you know, that they just didn't operate. And, um, you know, there has been some already that have been able to default on leases. So, you know, what happens if that location is not great for the use of cannabis sales and you have to take back that property? Well, if you loan 70%, 70% on that inflated market rent and you think you're going to be fine on collateral liquidation, then, you know, you're completely wrong. You need to look at it and not go to that extent. So, you know, I'm seeing the adult, you know, the adage is a bank's going in. Oh, we want to loan 70, 80% on that higher because that tenant is paying $45 as opposed to the average is 30, you know? So you've, you've got to be a banker and take the conservative approach. And if you're looking for that secondary source of repayment, well, if it gets to that point of secondary source of repayment, then clearly that property was not worth that higher market rent because it didn't make it. So when you get it back, it's going to come back to that $30 level. So use your common sense. That may be there. Now, it doesn't matter if your owner wants to pay that above because they're willing to take that risk and they're happy to get in the 45 and they're paying for the income approach. That doesn't mean you got to finance that amount. So, you know, take a look, look at the property, look at the ever average square foot, you know, you're going to a new area of lending, Take it slow, use your common sense, you know, just because, you know, we've got a year of 2023 in banking and certainty, don't get yourself in additional trouble because you're not being prudent and you're going against your, you know, traditional conservative values.